Bitcoin targets 41k. Bitcoin broke 36k resistance and it is now heading 41k. Will it test directly or will it retrace? Which levels are good to enter? Let's find it out in today's analysis. Hello people, I'm the Naked Trader and today I will analyze Bitcoin USDT, Bentley Systems Incorporated, Matic Network USDT, Solana USDT. We will also take a look at my previous analyze of Solana, which went up to 269% profits. This, uh, that was the video from August 23. I will post a link in the description too. Uh, Plug Power Incorporated and Ethereum USDT. Let's go to the weekly crypto market. So it was a very green week. All green numbers, FTT 240%, KCS 28%, Luna Classic 32%, Sandbox TR 83%, very nice. And today, how is the sentiment today? Kind of mixed, more green than red. AVAX Room Dot, Curve Dow, Phantom. Solana, Aptos, nice, nice. Okay, let's go to Coin Market Cap. How are we doing here? Market cap of one one point forty two trillion. Twenty four hour volume of fifty two point two billion. Fear and greed index is currently at seventy seven seventy seven, which indicates greed. And the top 10 coins are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Ripple, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin and Tron. Nice. And from here, let's go to the stock market overview. So the weekly performance of the stock market, kind of mixed. I see the big boys are in green, so Microsoft 4.7%, Apple, Google, Amazon, NVIDIA, and all the small are in red, kind of mixed. Okay, so that was the weekly performance of the stock market. Let's start with the weekly chart of Bitcoin. Currently another amazing green week and we are now heading the resistance area, the bull area. Went up nice, didn't test back so far. So let me show the weekly levels. Currently at the resistance, weekly resistance of 37,800. The next weekly resistance is 46,000. Okay, I will show the daily levels. First daily resistance level next is 41K. Yes. Okay, so let's change to the daily and see what we can find. I will show last week's analysis. So this was the play from two weeks ago. If you are still in it, congratulations. Then you have already a profit of more than 26%. And also last week, I've showed this one that we can go up further. So which we are doing. Okay, I will remove the level, uh, the scenarios who are not valid anymore. This one of course still is, but testing higher. So retracement with the entry around 30,400, 
trying, trying to aim higher. And the other two scenarios, we will test 41,000 straight away, pullback around 36,200, then aiming higher, or we will test even higher, the weekly resistance level of 46,400, pullback around 37,800, and then aiming higher. So for now, three possible scenarios, and of course I will add another one. Yeah. This is the start of the current impulse around 34,400. But the thing is, I don't like it so much because it's round building price action. Where's my brush? One moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's like people are afraid to miss out and trying to FOMOing in. But this is a possible entry, but I will aim for an entry here or entry here after the pullback if we go straight up. So yeah. From Bitcoin USDT, I will go to Bentley Systems, currently at the weekly chart. So what do we see? It went up, nice pullback, tested the top over here. And then rejection, but it's it's holding the, the low over here. And now, interesting what will happen. Okay, I'll remove the brushes. I will change to the daily. Okay. This was the last low which caused the high year. Here we are losing this impulse. I prefer to see a gain above this area to, to see higher levels. Here we are rejecting this drop off which, which caused the low. Okay. So. I will add some scenarios. Either we will go back to the start of the impulse around 45.91 and trying to go up from there. Or we will test lower around 42.87. Because also keep in mind that the 4591 is already tested over here and it rejected over here. So I prefer to 
and uh, here around 4287 and that is the start of the impulse which caused the last high over here so 4287 and if it managed to gain coming week test the uh, 80 the 58 and then a pullback around 54 trying to aim higher so three possible scenarios and from Bentley I will go to Matic USDT currently at the daily chart this is an analysis of somewhere early February and what do we see this scenario here was this entry it went up from there with a profit of 20, 23% this one didn't play out there was a gain but it went it fell through support and here it tried to hold a little bit but eventually went down so I will remove the scenarios from February and let's see what we can find let's start at the weekly chart I want to clean up the chart and let's start over okay we'll add some levels the 59 cent was the previous weekly low and it went under so we have a weekly loss of the last low and still no weekly gain of the 76 cent that's supposed to be next week if we close this week's candle above 76 if so if there is a weekly gain next week then we might see a potential reversal from a downtrend into an uptrend okay I will change to the daily at the daily I want to see a daily gain of the 85 cent that is this point that causes the low over here So for now, what can we expect the coming days? A moment. okay so either rejection of the 85 cent pullback probably around 66 cent and then trying to go up from there if it loses support of 66 cent then 
an entry around 56 cents and trying to go up from there or if it managed to gain and let's say test the uh, 97 cent pullback aggressive play around 85 cent and then aiming for higher around one dollar nine and let me see this one it's about 27 percent potential profits the most defensive one 15 next target 34 and next target 49 and the aggressive play after the gain with a potential target with a potential profit of 28 percent okay so these are the scenarios for metic usdt and from metic i will go to solana usdt i've posted this one somewhere in august i will leave a link in the description so if you have played the entry around 1723 that is this scenario 260 percent profit so congratulations if you had played this scenario here one this one take some profits and enjoy the ride increase your stop loss to maximize your profits okay and i'll remove the scenarios for now let's go to the weekly wow next resistance around 77 dollar okay I want to start with a clean chart, I will clean it up. So next resistance here at 78 and the, then 135 let me change to the daily Okay, possible late entries, keep in mind that the re risk reward is decreasing when the price is going parabolic, but if you want a late entry, then I would say if we test the $78 right away, then pull back around 46 aiming higher if it goes down from here then either entry around 36 dollar and if it loses support of 36 dollar then entry around 27 dollar so three possible scenarios for solana usdt and from solana i will go to 
Plug Power Incorporated starting at the weekly chart. I see a big drop this week. What happened? Fifty two percent down. Okay. So let's see if we can find some support levels. Okay, so let's change to the daily. Wow. So I would recommend you to keep your hands off until we see a rotation from the downwards into an upwards because it can still can go even lower. And the possible entries are, are here around $2.52, $1.68, and $0.92. Cents. So wait for the reversal and the lower time frame confirmation. We want to see this kind of price action. Yeah. So again, off the last drop off and then on the left side is your entry. This is what we like to see. Okay, third scenario, of course, if it goes up from here, then you might see a reversal. But this is very high risk. Wait for daily lower time frame confirmations. And from plug power, I will go to Ethereum USDT, starting at the weekly chart. Currently, 2052. At the resistance of 2100, still need to enter the bull market area. So it's a little bit behind if you compare it to Bitcoin. Let me show the weekly levels. Oh, interesting. So this week we might have a gain of the 1891. 14 hours to close this week's candle. Next test will be around 2388. And let me show the daily levels and the scenarios of last week. And I will change to the daily. So congratulations if you are still in the long. This is from two weeks ago, right? 29 October. Then you could have had profits more than 20%. Congratulations, increase your stop loss and take some profits. And if you are in the short, 
waiting for the pullback, then you already have more than 4% profits. Congratulations. So I will remove this scenario. This one is not valid anymore. This one neither. So what can happen now? Pullback around 1845 and then trying to break the 2142 level. And okay. And the next scenario is Ethereum will test the 2388 pullback around. 2142 and aiming higher. Yeah. So, two possible scenarios for Ethereum. Be aware it's currently at a resistance area. So, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Don't forget subscribe join team naked trader smash the like button if you like this content if you have any request please drop it down in the comments below and i might join it in the next one okay for now guys enjoy your sunday and see you all wednesday bye bye